Time's up. Let's do this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the second game between Malaysian All-Star as well as Evil Genius Gaming. I am Babel, joining me tonight is Zeno Viper, and we have a game to cast. Yep, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is game number two. We have EG versus MAS here. So, we've MAS actually taking game number one after a very, very uh, questionable defeat from Evil Geniuses as, uh, you know, not only me, apparently viewers have really high expectations of EG and uh, well, yeah, game two, man. I just hope they do bring something a little bit different onto the table. So I hope my volume is pretty kind of better right now. But anyway, yeah, it's okay. a lot better. Okay, so we have Gmo actually <laughs> banning out the drunken master, seeing that's such a statement for uh, for them for themselves, and not having uh, well, not having it to work for them. So <laughs> kind of questionable for them ban out oh. themselves. Doctor Fossil would be addressed as well. Rally and Kraken banned out. So this time, this time we got a hand on a Magnus. I love this hero for a lot of reasons. It has two disjoints. It has a ridiculous ultimate. Absolutely. That is just an insane initiator. I'm just glad I get to see this game. Last game it was nicely banned out, so it's good. Oh. So Rhapsody is gonna be good for mass, but engineer onto team EG. This is this is something you don't want to see, guys. This Magnus Engineer combo. We have we have seen uh we I mean we have not lived to see tales of these uh deadly combo. I'm not sure if you know what I'm saying, but if you've seen it in action. You would understand what I'm saying. Yeah, help on team. Um, bit of a mistake there, uh, letting Legion team have the Magnus Engineer combo. But that's not a big deal because initially it was supposed to be the Engineer Fate combo, but because Fate um, frequently got banned, that's why people picked Magnus, and then they realized Magnus actually has got a freaking awesome ultimate, the Eruption with the Engineer feel. Um, that's a lot of uh, crazy combo the Legion team is actually threatening right now. So MA is now actually going to have to think true twice as to who they really want to draft into this um, lineup here with the Rhapsody. Rhapsody is just fantastic. That was a pretty clutch ultimate there, the protective melody coming from Rhapsody at the end of the uh, last team fight in the last game there. For this game, we are expecting both teams to play a little bit more intensely because uh, yes. of what's at stake here. If MAS wins this, it's going to be a straight out three uh, points for them. And if um, EG, or if Eva's Evil Genius wins this one, it will be a tie. And we will end the series because it's just a BO2. That's it. Um, Grenade's being picked here. Zeno Viper, what do you think? That is a insane ganker. That's just that's just my opinion about it. And okay, so the fact that you have a Grenade, it's just like last game. We have Evil Geniuses picking a a Bullet Hunter, but not having you know having ganks done at the same time. So if this Grenex actually roams and gets kills. That is going to be scary, but if this Grenex actually chooses to, you know, go for like safely farm, I don't like it because if you're going for the carrier out, there are so, just so many other heroes that are better for that. So Grenex, yes, it, it provides a very scary lane presence, but only for, you know, to really get kills. So if you want to go for this kind of lineup, you have to get kills. Just saying. So we have the Legion actually going for the Keeper of the Forest. We have, now we have not seen this hero a lot lately due to its nerf. Yeah, just saying, Keeper of the Forest has gone through a really, really like, insane amount of nerfs and that's why it's almost like never picked soon, but still, viable for his ultimate, which is the Root, and uh, see how they work around with that, so could be an offlane Keeper, could be a jungle, let's see how it goes. Crack yeah. oh, I was almost say I almost say Cracker, but yeah, Pestilence actually comes out for MES for the Hellborn, so uh, a lot of... Um, Physical burst, I would say, coming up for the Hellborn. What, what do you think of this? Um, physical burst on Hellborn side, yes, there's a lot of great damage there. Uh, the main issue is that they still don't really have an answer against this teamfight mechanic. The Legion teams is, is really threatening them, so they need to make sure that they pick up either the Tempest or the Kronos or something. They could probably hold the opponent in place before you decide to go in with great amount of damage that is either physical or magical. If not, you will be locked down by the Keeper, you will get locked down by, boxed up by the Engineer, as well as Silence, and Magmas is going to come in, and Chef Magmas there is going to rival that of Gordon Ramsay. Chef Magmas got it. <laughs> but yeah, um, good stuff, like you know, like you said, this, this is a fully wombo combo Legion team, once again. So we want to see how it executes out. Ev ev everyone loves combos, you know, and what's better than combos is to see a team actually pull it off. So they have good synergy right there with the Keeper, you know, Engineer Magnus. Right now they are in lackluster in terms of a carry. So Hellborn knows that, 
and they are betting out every single thing possible, like Moon Queen, Puppet Master, uh, those kind of good stuff. And they definitely Ooh, don't want. Wow, this. what is this? Oh wow, dudes! An guys. electrifying personality. In, terms in of for a shocking good time, guys. This is this is an electrician that we have never seen before for a really long time. Um, I. I really sure. like Electrician a lot, personally, but unfortunately, it is just not viable in team fights. So Silhouette gonna come in here, and Electrician might Murder. actually... Wow, and Madman as well. So, Evil Genius actually gonna play a very, very old school and outdated draft here. Yeah, but, I mean, sometimes old school is best school, guys. I mean, Electrician, man, that's gonna be so good versus, like, a Grinex or, you know, even a Silhouette, for, for, for all that matters, because... What I'm expecting is a lot of roaming coming out for Team EG, and if you want to do this, you gotta make sure it's gonna work, because you know this this kind of lineup is really dependent on kills, especially early game kills, because they have the damage, they don't need items for that kind of damage, and uh, considering that the Hellborn team does have a you know significant amount of squishies, I would say squishies, so let's just see what uh, EG is able to put on the table. But now. We're gonna go for that war beast, so another hero that kind of disappeared off the battle a little bit, but finally making his way back in with the Den Mother, gonna be played by No Think on You. So good stuff, good stuff. Could be uh could be a jungle war beast. Green next suicide, I could be wrong, but let's just see what it goes. Um effectively this means that there's a lot of team fight mechanic that can come in from both sides. Um a little bit more slanting favor for Team Legion. Help on Team has got a lot of pick off mechanic, and if the War Beast really farms up very well over the course of the next 25 minutes, this game would be very easily more than over for Team EG. It, yeah. it I, I don't know, I don't know how ex exactly Hellborn is gonna hold off Legion's, uh, you know, team fight mechanic, but they do have a lot of pick off mechanic themselves, such as the Grenag, such as the Pestilence with the War Beast. The only issue is that, <coughs> sorry, the only issue is that they probably need to farm up for that. And um, hopefully they will have the space for that as well. That's it. Now going to introduce both players as well as team on Team Legion side is Evil Genius Gaming, and we have Gmo playing as the Madman Electrician. Going to be played by Vivian Iwo as well as Hanga in onto the Magmas. We have Iroy playing onto the Engineer Las Benales. Hiroki playing as the Keeper of the Forest. That's it. Help on Team is going to be fulfilled by Malaysia All Star, and they will be. A Team consisting of uh, no think on you, and that would be the war beast. My gods, junior onto the pestilence, baby E Paul. And uh, it was the same carry in the previous game. He is gonna be playing as the silhouette for this one. Grenade's been played by Haha Zim Las Benales. Jab there onto the Rhapsody. Yep, good stuff there. I was just about to point out that um, the draft for these two teams are like kind of swapped for you know the first game. So this time it's going to be MAS having the you know solo hero burst bursty, you know, the kind of thing. So this time we have the EG having that bombo combo team fight as but the uh, MAS man now going for that uh, I would guess more for a one versus one lockdown kind of thing. So yeah let's just see how it actually pulls this off. Because you know silhouette, green axe, that's a lot of physical damage. Just saying. They just need a shield breaker. One oh, shield breaker, yeah. and it will be a field day against Team EG Gaming here. And uh, for Team Legion, they will decide to go for laning where we will see the casual, usual Magmas Engineer mid lane as well as the top lane fulfilled by the Madman. And uh, we have Keep of the Forest being played by Hiroki into the forest. Last but not least, Electrician gonna take the bottom lane here by himself. That is refreshing. Refreshing, but guys, you, you, you gotta know that electrician, even back in those days, the old, the good old days, electrician is an insane one versus one hero. He literally dominates any melee hero, even a blood hunter. Just saying. So that's how strong he is. Let's see, you know, what the old days can bring back. You know, the good old classic 80s. No, I like. But anyway, mid late, like we do see the engineer Magnus combo. We're gonna see a couple of action going on. Uh, they do have the caliber to kill this compared to a Rhapsody Pestilence. So, just to see how good things work out right there. Top lane. So, it's going to be a suicide madman actually going against a Silo. And Silo is actually taking more, more of the damage. That's kind of pretty interesting. Exactly. So, melee Rhapsody here with a Pestilence. Probably, you know, both sides having dual stun. It's uh, going to be looking. 
it's gonna look really scary. The only difference here is that Rhapsody kind of hits a little bit harder than the Engineer. And for bottom lane, we have Grenax here. Grenax by himself off lane should be okay up against the Electrician unless Electrician pulls for a little bit of an aggressive stance. And we will only see that once Keeper hits level 6 and they go for a bit of a push or if Magnus is missing from the mid lane. So calling that your lane is missing is gonna be very important for this particular game here for Team Hellborn. Yep, I'm kind of stoked at the absence of wards in this game, but it's not me to say. <laughs> Just saying. So, Magnus, probably trying to edge yourself for that model as fast as possible. Here comes the cat, guys. You're going to miss. So, that's pretty huge stuff for uh, for the Hellborn team. So, wasting a cat, but not, not too much of a matter. Magnus actually getting that uh, volcanic touch in. That's going to do a heck of damage. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at all that, man. So, he's going to probably not turn this off. I like. So it's okay, Rhapsody taking too much of that burst of this than Volcanic Touchy. It's, it's more touchy like system. Rhapsody, come closer. <laughs> ah, I'm hot. Uh, I'm yeah. right. Anyway, uh, we are looking at a bottle closing in much faster for the Pestilence. Uh, he's, as he's getting more, well, more support from his Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Rhapsody, after all, has more attack range than a uh, Engineer, after all. But the problem is, Pestilence is just unable to get close to that thing because of that volcanic touch. So it provides a little bit more lane aggression, and Vision Team will have more of that favor. Here comes the stun from that Pestilence. Staccato not going to come out though because he knows that it's not going to do much of anything. So a lot of uh, damage negation coming from Magnus. I'm just looking at that shield prop coming out right there. So a lot of good stuff that's going on. Top in the illusion room. Going to be oh, probably God. waiting for the bottom fairy. Yeah, the downside of having Volcanic Touch is that it pushes the lane out very quickly, so he needs to consistently turn that on and off, which he is not doing. That's why um, Hellbomb might actually have a little bit of a slightly better time in terms of farming uh, if the lane gets pushed out a little bit from Legion side. That's a downside of level 4 Magmus, uh, sorry, Magmus. Level 4 Grenax up against level 4 Electrician. Both of them looks to be pretty okay so far. Farming wise, looks pretty decent. Electrician actually leading the entire GPM chart for this game. Top lane is the only worry I have for Team EG Gaming because they are. I'm not expecting the Madman to win against Silhouette. It's just not possible in the early stage there. And I hope that he gets some form of good backup. But that's it. That goes to Pestilence time to mid lane against Engineer. And Magnus might actually want to try milk into this one here. Meanwhile, top lane some engage engagement happening at the same time. The Kag is going to miss Magnus. Actually, a bit of a misplay. Starting a bit too early there. And Pestilence is now going to actually body block Engineer. The Tarret Flame Tarret may not actually be very effective. Uh, Rhapsody might pick up this kill with the last hit. No, it will not be done even with the War Beast buff there. That's a top lane. Both both of them looks pretty okay. I think Mamet popped the ball charge, so that is okay. Oh, can't touch this. Meanwhile, Raps is still, I mean, Silhouette's actually gonna play a little bit of rest under that, but Silhouette just might fall, and he will. So, wow, Gmo, she do so much work with that barrel roll. Do the barrel roll, and she does get the kill off that with a bottle, actually. So, that's pretty good stuff for this suicide madman compared to a Silhouette. That's kind of a questionable play. It, it all, I mean, it's not every day you see a Silhouette losing to a madman. Yeah, really well done by Gmo. Uh, playing as the madman in this game here. We have Electrician that's at full mana against Grenax that doesn't have anything there. Um, so that's the scary part about Electrician there. And that's it. Mid lane, Hasted Warbase comes in hard from behind. The dead mother might not be able to pick up much of anything. Pestilence take flight. Gonna be scary about that one there. And Warbase from behind. It's not gonna happen. They're gonna pull it back completely there. And oh. yep, that's just about it. That's it. However, there is a madman in his vicinity and he's actually gonna stalk right now. Kek is gonna miss again. Magmus, a little bit of a trouble right now. Madman going ham on the pestilence there. Will not pick it up before the Magmus goes down. Pessy goes down as well. Now Warbeast level 4 shouldn't be here. There is not much of a damage on level 4 or 5 Warbeast. Rhapsody gonna actually go and hit strong first against the Engineer. And gonna call up the Disco Dance Floor. It's not gonna be effective as well. Here comes the pot in. Probably gonna be the Pestilence. And they will all pull back. Oh, sorry, Magmus. They're all gonna all pull back right there. That is a couple of questionable keg stuns. Like I say, well, here comes Lava Surge. And the keg will finally lag, lag, finally land on this Rhapsody. And will he fall? He will not. But meanwhile, Engineer is probably gonna pay the price. And down he goes with that War Beast coming in to assist. So. A premature wolf actually coming in to get the level 5 off the kill. So, yes, after all, I mean, to think that Keg would actually vindicate him from all his stuns, I mean, of all his missed stuns, and he actually still goes down. So, bottom lane, really Electrician getting chased by Grenax here, but um, would be okay. Sorry for the cut. I actually yep. thought Grenax was going ham on Electrician, but I guess he's a little bit too smart there. 
And that's good. So that's it. Hangai Magmas. What do you think of this engineer so far? A lot of misplay on the CAC, right? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I was just thinking it might be mistiming the Magma stun. But the real problem is, Magma stun at all levels is 2.15 seconds. And for him to miss is really questionable. Yes, I understand he's probably just trying to get positioning. But the fact that it's not landing at all is a big statement. Yeah, not landing at all. It's a huge, huge problem. So that's a mid lane again. A bit of harassment here is gonna happen, and Pasty is just getting harassed so badly right now. They actually all gotta pull back, and Electrician picks up a Helm of the Black Legion. That's actually gonna help him tank up a lot more. Level seven Electrician up against a level six Grenax, and on the top of this game here we have Gmo. Um, top half of this map at least, he is the only Legion player to venture into the Hellborn jungle. And the sad soap opera about Ra riding what's actually gonna happen there. So he better be careful. Yep, except the fact that uh that Madman is definitely not a red riding Here comes the old Madman. The Mid lane, stun actually happening. Rhapsody, a little bit of trouble there. Kex gonna connect and maybe Keeper's gonna pop the ultimate, but that's not gonna happen just yet. He's still waiting for what? I have no idea. Gonna walk into the trees there and finally pops the root. Finally, a little bit too slow there. Pestilence will not go down. Keeper goes invisible. Rhapsody jokes in the jungle, stays in the trees. Here comes a flying Grenax, picks up probably the kill of Magmas. Magmas goes into the invisible mood and picks up the Rhapsody kill because of the steam buff, cooking them really nicely. And in the background supply lines there, we do see the Keeper finally die as well magmas does have one bottle and will not have enough mana for a stun away now gonna pop the bottle grenade to the pick up this easy kill and that's a nightmare for eg gaming she got a nightmare man madman's still in the vicinity spots on warbies and a silhouette into the barrel but the oh my god the tree grapple missed and the nice thought would actually pick up the kill onto that silhouette here comes the port but who gives a damn if they got the kill they are gonna jet out i mean they I mean Gmo, so really good stuff right here. He is sitting at 3 0 and 0, that's really good stuff. Gets an invisibility rune. Oh my god, this guy is just going ham. He's yeah. Little guy. Uh, yeah. It's it's crazy. So that's it, they're all gonna try and push down the bomb lane a little bit there. And Grenax now gonna try and knock an electrician. Um Vivian is gonna be okay. That's a mid lane. Very aggressive position they're taking her just to defend against the water of wrath here. And it will stay up. The stock, uh, or rather the ulti from the Pestilence is going to be used onto the Magmas. Han Ga Yin is completely exposed right now. Yep, he does have the swarm onto him, so steam buffs not going to provide much of an effect if he needs to be, but I, I would actually suggest him to just steam bath with this joint that, you know, the swarm, which is really fun to play here, to be honest. But still, he probably doesn't want to waste mana for it, but here comes Grinex. A little bit careful, War of Ram actually spots him out, so really unfortunate for that. So the gank would be futile for the Hellborn key. Does know a Green X is right there, he's just probably gonna jet on out and probably head back to the bottom lane where Keeper of the Forest will be joining the electrician to perform a uh, a big push, I would guess, with only Green X to defend. I I'm not I'm not actually seeing how this is gonna be much effective because electrician is so much of a good burst here. Good yep, burst here. so um so far bottom lane keeper is here to finally push a little bit of a late push for the tier one defense tower gonna get challenged here by very cute animated trees as well as the electrician with the keyboard force there mid lane meanwhile very tense standoff here um seems like legion will have to pull back and they will get the bottom lane tower but they need to be very careful for the mid lane there's a lot of aggressive approaches here pasty needs the portal key doesn't have it yet will not have it soon and I hope that, oh, from behind, Madman actually, and the Magmas with the two-man stun, Kek is gonna connect on both of them, Eruption cooking in the background, a little bit too far apart, Rhapsody goes down, but no one really cares, the Root's gonna lock in the war base. the Dead Mother gets left behind, and that's scary, Dead Mother taking a bit of a weird approach, run away, that's not how you run away, and that's not gonna work out, so no surprises whatsoever, meanwhile, Madman's still going ham on the Pastelins, Pastelins also gonna take the fall, and Silhouette there by himself will not be able to pick up the kill, but here comes your next, Madman takes the fall, and Silhouette will use Reflective to run away, or was it yeah. reflection? <laughs> uh, whatever that skill's called. I have no idea. Oh, shadow. Shadow. So simple, yeah. So hard. But anyway, really, really good kills coming up from both teams. Such an even game, man. Like seven to six kills so far, but still, Legion team will make the middle push because they can. 
keep out of close okay. coming. But here comes the portal. Renex is invisible. Kex is good, not gonna land on anything. The mag was nice, destroyed actually coming out for Magmas. And the Taurus is gonna do a lot of damage. Testinus getting really slow right there. Magmas goes into invisibility. Gonna be a little bit careful. Oh, you electric. Look at that singing. We'll stun that Rhapsody though, but Pestilus is gonna get nicely slowed by the electrician. He will go down. So Electrician is going to get the, the Cattles out, but still, they do get the kill onto the Pestilence. That's all that matters. So they do get the tower and they do get the kill off that despite the port. So that is really, really huge, uh, huge place coming up for EG. Yeah, huge indeed. 8 is the 6, a 3.3k goal lead here for Team EG. EG looking very good. Help on team on the flip side. It seems like they are a little bit um, overextending. And still away getting controlled by the Madman. Oh boy, oh, wow. never saw this day coming. But maybe E Paul might need to be very careful. Very different from the first game. In fact, first game he was 8 0 and 7, I think, about 15 minutes into this game. But this game he's only 1 2 and 1. So very far away. Magmas here also needs portal keys. Still looking for it in the trees. Dude, you need to farm for that, not in the trees. And he doesn't seem to understand that, but that's fine. Meanwhile, Keep of the Forest is here as well. He also needs some form of initiation. If not, probably gonna try and pick up a little bit more mana for the, um, the extra. Ulti that he can put off there. That's it. Hellbound team is going to pull back. There's a haste of warbies in this vicinity, and the warbies going to spot out all three of them in the ancient spot. There's a lack of support in this area, so warbies should not jump in. And meanwhile, Mamma is going to try and dress the top lane defense tower by himself. Warbies is going to come up here. Um, probably going to be able to pick up this Mamma kill because of the tower there, but yep, stock's still going to be off cooldown, so that's fine. With a full bottle, I guess he would be fine. He's in level 10. He, oh wow, he actually went for a Mighty Blade, so we'll go for the early Shrunken Head, I presume. Not really sure why, because, you know, you're fighting against a really physical heavy lineup, but still, you know, just want to see what he makes out of it. So, level 10 Mamma, Wolf gonna spot him out, a uh, touchy me no like kind of situation. All four Hellborn team is up there, so he has to be a little bit careful. We'll be joined in by Keeper of the Forest, but that's about it. Meanwhile, on the flip side, bottom lane, Actually, Magma's gonna do a little bit of push on its own, trying to get his portal key, but struggling a little bit. Whereas the mid lane is gonna be nicely pushed in by Engineer, which is heading back right now. Pestilence in the vicinity. So, yeah, a lot of things going back and forth. And, uh, till, I mean, till, yeah, this is probably a much more even game compared to, uh, last game. Still, is a little bit more in favor for the Legion team, I guess. A little bit. Not a lot. Yep, so Heavy Ballista goes down top lane and Madman gonna be here by himself. Defense Tower is gonna get challenged a little bit, but they will all pull back. And definitely Hellbond's taking things a little bit slower right now. They are effectively just farming up. And if it goes way late into this game, probably Hellbond's still gonna have to lead. And it's a huge risk that they're taking because Legion team is also gonna farm up. And if Electrician has got all the items that he need, the good old Electrician can never die. Good old electrician. My first hero, to be honest, when I came to uh, Heroes of Newer, I played the hero to Kingdom Come. And, well, it became my favorite hero because it's so easy, you know, so so bursty too. So and really tanky. So it's all the best combos in one. Could be a carry, and he, that's meant to be a carry. So yeah, look at Madman. He literally goes Mighty Blade. I don't like that item on him because if he's going for a shrunken head, I will I will hate him for life. Jimo, please do not disappoint. Just saying. So, uh, we are looking at 14 minutes into the game, 8 to 6. A lot of action, a lot of kills. I like that. That's what's meant to be. Electrician's actually going for that. Uh, wow, is he really good? Oh, it's, is that, that's a Bloodstone. Is actually going for a Bloodstone? Yeah, it's, it's a Bloodstone. It's going for a Bloodstone. Wow. Don't you see that? Warbeast, a little bit of trouble. Eruption's gonna be used here as well as the root in place. So, no think on you goes down. And Han Gayin will pick up the kill. Pretty easy um, combo there. Yep, I would, I would have. If I was the keeper, I would have actually waited for him to pop the ultimate first, and then just root, like ninja fingers, you know, just to kind of pop that cooldown. Still, it's an 80 second cooldown, so not really much of a deal. We know what top lane actually. Green is gonna use. That's what onto that. Oh, Dusty can use. Not sure who's Dusty there, but Green next. Will not be able to get a kill onto the oh well I like he actually does go down so your next does go down after all with the Warbeast, but I don't know why. That was really questionable place coming up with Madman just too nimble, much more nimble than the Renex, so still gets the kill, two is to nothing. I really like that. So one one kill top, one kill bottom, and still the lead 
goes on for the Legion team. So EG is actually making a comeback in this game. Uh, that's what I want to see, you know, uh, maybe a little bit of revenge for MES compared to last game. So at least this game, they are kind of just making sense. I think um, back in the engagement, MES jumped a little bit too fast. They they kind of forgot the fact that there is the engineer. And the engineer, yeah, he does have the ultimate up. So that in full effect really turned on them very quickly because the energy field deals an insane amount of 50 magic damage per second and also 100 per entry and exit. Uh, it's like paying tax, you know, um, road tax at least. So that said, Halbon team is in a bit of a tight spot right now. 7k gold deficit for them and Warbis is very far from accomplishing anything. He is only level 10, doesn't have um, nice boots yet, needs to buy new shoes as well as effectively needs a very strong weapon which he doesn't have. He only has got the Abyssal Skull which is kind of a little bit overdue here. Um, he does have 1.3k gold in the bank so at least that's a bit of a saving grace. That's a top lane defense how probably gonna get a dress here. Warbase up against that of Madman. This is crazy. You don't want to have a standoff here. It's not gonna work. The Magma's gonna come from behind and down goes the Warbase. Something that he didn't see coming. Yep, didn't see it coming from a lava surge, you know what I'm saying? That portal key came in from nowhere, and Han, man, his, uh, his sudden portal key did make the play. I was really surprised that this Madman was just going ham onto these Warbees, and in comes a Magmas, and down goes Warbees, so putting him much further back in the line. He's sitting at 1, 3, and 4 with only 236 gold per minute. Like you say, man, his Abyssal Skull is way long overdue. He should be sitting with at least a uh, half-done shrunken head by now, but he does not have it. So this, in terms of like, well, combo plays, like I said, Legion team is still is still doing the execution. Because compared to like, single pick off heroes like the Hellborn team, it's not working. Oh, Here comes the ports. Yep, the Magma's channeling the eruption. In comes the blink. It doesn't even need a blink. Just stuns it straight to the Grinex. Grinex falls. And right now, Silhouette has the grapple hook. Who is he gonna stun? He's just gonna stun the Madman, but is it worth it? The staccato comes out. Madman is not able to invest. And the site will bring him down. So it's a nice three man stun coming out from Magma. Electrician in the background is just gonna catch on the Rhapsody. I have no idea why. Nice four man stun. Here comes that electric field by Rhapsody with that huge ultimate and the war beast will probably make his getaway but will not be able to do that nice lava surge coming up and then silhouette will probably that no he's actually gonna grapple away so a really clutch grapple there but right now electric just comes full onto Rhapsody the Kang's gonna pull him back keep on the forest gets the last hit and right now they're just gonna head it back so really really a lot of engagement going on one for three exchange in favor for the Legion team and not only that they're gonna get a bonus for a tower it's still like a buy three if you want Kind of a key deal right here, and man, it's just boost up their lead by 11,000 gold deposit. 14 is the eight. This is the comeback I just want to see. Um, a little bit more into the draft. The problem from Hellborn team really isn't much about execution. You can tell that the players there are actually pretty okay. It's a little bit more like the fact that they don't have massive AoE, they don't have the box up problem. If they had a flux, uh, definitely they can at least push away some of these problems like the Magmas, the Engineer. Um, can't even make them in an awkward you know, positioning for ultimates and they don't even have tempers, no chronos, nothing to probably hold people in place or buy them some time to deal the damage that they have. So that is a huge problem because even if you have all the damage dealing items in the world, if you cannot deal damage, it's probably going to be useless. That's it, Man Man downtime gets engaged on. Pestilence with the ultimate up already on Man Man. This is probably going to be food there. And Gmo goes down. My god, Junior will pick that up at the end of the day. And Rhapsody actually in the previous team fight, huge ultimate like you said. Was it really effective because it's... um. It's like the teammates were already falling back and they didn't really need that to stay alive. A huge disappointment was the Pestilence. He does have the um, the, uh, the stun up, the f what's that called, impale, yeah, the impale up. And he didn't actually run into save Rhapsody, so that's a bit of a set. He's probably thinking that he should ditch the support, which is the safer play, but still could have been done a little bit better, I feel. No honor. Yeah, just, just suffer. Safe. Meanwhile, Zeno Viper is suffering from some domestic issues. Let's give him the space what? he desperately needs. Uh, oh, you're back. That's good. Okay, guys. But anyway, yeah, I was just looking at the electrician with his uh, little icon of God. It's so cute on him. Oh my God. With four charges, that just gives him so much more survivability already right there. So Engineer with the... Uh, oh, wow. He's actually going for a Astro Lake. Not a big, not a big item you usually see. Still, still doable considering the amount of farm he has. Magmas with the Invis rune actually spots out this uh, pestilence in this bottom lane, but will not choose to pursue. Uh, animated trees are up. They were probably going to look push this mid defense. Meanwhile, top lane is actually going to go down 
for the Hellborn team. So Legion team loses a tower top lane. That doesn't matter because right now they are going to contest this middle lane. We have the animated trees up. Keep for the forest. Has a refresher. Oh my god. This actually chooses to skip the portal key for a straight up refresher. I really like that compared to this uh, amount of, well, position making against MAS. So that's pretty good stuff. We'll have a full. I guess 6 seconds lockdown onto Hell One Team and there's nothing they can do about it. Meanwhile, actually, Engineer spots out this Illusion Pestilence. Will gets initiated on by a Magma, but if he, if he will discover his Illusion, he will be set. Probably for about 2 seconds. Defense Tower is going to be nicely challenged in this middle lane and will most likely go down. Fort is not used yet. I don't think he's over here. Oh, oh, random dust. Random dust, but still. It caught a good X though. Yep. So it's, Yep, oh, wow. so Grenades got exposed there. And now Electric gonna try meta, but there goes the jump in from the pasty. That's a two-man stun grenade to the follow up the stun on the engineer. And there goes the energy fuel as well as out of me. Oh my god, the burner Grenax is insane on this one. Grenax effectively might just go down like that. That's on the border. Magmas cooks up nothing at all. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Now Silver gonna pull back and Madman also gonna run back. And this should be a very easy game here for Evil Genius Game. Oh yeah, basically what you need to know is that shock and were used by in comes Pestilence with nice four man stun again. Pestilence actually this is just gonna head back but meanwhile refresher and here comes the second route and down goes Jeff just like that once again Warby is gonna be nice and Jeff behind but still he will be fine but there's no pursuit yep but here oh. comes it again Warby is <laughs> nicely jammed up there he's probably gonna have a nice slow coming up from man with his barrel and down goes oh, okay electrician is just gonna try and kill the silhouette he actually can do that but because of pestilence he is gonna pull back so um Oh, maybe not. Now gonna engage you on the pestilence there. We'll pull back at the end of the day. The turret's gonna be used. Uh, I think the team probably gonna try and pull back as a whole. And they will not get caught out here by MES. MES actually this time around the ones who are losing the Rexus at the mid lane. Uh, a little bit surprising for me, but I don't really blame them. It's more like they don't really have any items whatsoever. And the only hero there with substantial item is in fact the silhouette. Um, yeah, they can try and get Shrunken here right now, but it's a little bit too slow. 22 minutes in, and the War Beast desperately needs a Shrunken head. Uh, the rest of, I, th I think even Grenax needs some real man items. Those are looking so, so, so sissy right now. I may or may not have been disconnected. I think you have been disconnected, but that's fine. But it's fine. But hopefully, that's fine because you can always come back in, right? So, uh, anyway, Grenax. Yeah, Grenax <laughs> items looks pathetic. Haha, <laughs> Zim there. Let's look at his GPM. Uh -huh. Should be okay. yeah, uh, two, three, five only. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Meanwhile, surprisingly, engineer with the icon of goddess is really not gonna go down easily. 450 GPM on that. 407 on the madman, as well as 443 on keep of the forest. 332 there onto the um, magmas at least. So that's a lot of good synergy there coming up from Team Legion side. Help on. On the flip side, they are just completely confused to a certain extent. And I, I feel that, you know, they are just really broke. It's like you're fighting against a third world country. And that's how the Help on <laughs> feels like right now. It feels right right now. It's like they are. They are just Deep. broke. Yeah. They don't even have <laughs> items. Broke. I mean, they're not too bad, but behind, you know, 300, 200 gold per minute. It's fine. But the fact that Legion team. Almost every one of them is like over 300, and that's just the insane part. The electrician's actually leading the charts, which is something that's not supposed to happen. I'm not sure what he's going for. He's probably going to go up straight for a, a behemoth heart, but still, it's up to him to uh, disengage at any time he wants to. War Beast is trying to complete his puzzle box, trying to farm ancient on its own, but uh, not going to do that. It's going to give it for the keeper of the forest. I have no struggling. idea why. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, it's, the struggle is real. He can't even buy bread right now. Look at that. Um, yeah. Can I put, can I put bread on, on the table for her small sons, you know? See, yeah. summons the small sons and say, Sons, I'm I'm disappointed. I I mean I'm disappointed myself. I can't put food on the table for you, so you're gonna have to die in like forty seconds. But still, uh he I guess after a puzzle box there could be a little bit of light for them because since only melee reactors are down. But the window of opportunity is closing up quickly for the leaking key. And by quickly I mean like now. Madman is gonna be nice address. Oh, I won't say address, but the ultimate of the Green X, talk about the Green X wall. It's gonna be just used to chase them back a little bit, would nicely deter them, but I don't think it's there for long. And I I think the Hellbone team should congregate to prevent this push. But the fact that they don't have team fight items, they don't have team fight heroes to begin with, so it's gonna be a little bit of a problem for the Hellbone team if they wanna defend this bottom tier tower. 
Yep, they're all gonna pull back right now. 25 minutes in, and there goes the dust. It's gonna catch on the Grenax, and there goes a nice pullback. It's not gonna be effective. Madman goes shiny, and now gonna try and knock on the tier 3 by itself. Fort's gonna be used as well. There is no box out whatsoever. Mino Magna's gonna be hiding behind this where he is, and it's looking for eruption. Good angle to go in as well. A keeper has still got the double root up, I believe. And Legion team actually gonna pull back. And Electrician is just too goddamn fat. Look at that. He doesn't even care. And not a shield was given that day. That's it. They are all gonna try and knock on the tier 3 defense tower right there. And there goes a nice stun on the war piece. Eruption is gonna be in the background. Eruption comes in. Not really effective. Keeper not able to find a space for the root there. Will hesitate a little bit more and will not root still. They're all gonna pull back. And there goes the first root there. Pasty probably gonna take the fall. But whoa, look at a song, man. And there goes the second. Now he catches everybody. Finally. And that's it. Help on team completely melting down. All that's left is Grenex as well as the Rhapsody. Rhapsody probably gonna get chased down here by the Madman. And on the flip side the grenades goes down rhapsody well stay alive bathing in the pool there man that's some good sauna <laughs> that was really unfortunate the rhapsody's ultimate was just was just inches away from the you know from the pestilence and he you know, he just died oh meanwhile it's gonna the power die is real stuns it in the and mad and madman actually goes down and look at this electrician just stands there like hi guys i am a tanker i'm just gonna do that again and yeah, that's oh, that actually good. feels really good. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, sauna, man. Speaking about talking about sauna, yeah. I mean, you, you know, I, I could have a free steam buff by Magnus, but well, nothing tastes better than you know the the the, the tears of the enemy steam buff. You know what I'm saying? So well, gonna bask in that presence a little bit, and they are just gonna head on back. So they will take bottom Raxus, and they will just nicely head on back with 22 kills is to 10. 27 minutes into this game, the lead is just stupendous. I have no idea what's left to say about this game. Two Rexes down for the Hellborn, like I said, and the Legion's well on its way to victory right now. You know, Electrician's so fat that if you die, you can feed the entire Hellborn team. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, it's oh. it's it's real. He is so fat. He is like 1-0-10, 474 GPM, highest farmer of the entire game. And that's the Electrician. This is the old school, um, you know, draft that really works well. Hellbound team kind of got complacent, and it really is the Dead Mother's fault for this game. He he took team fights when he shouldn't be. He took team fights when he should be farming, and effectively that means that he doesn't have power box and cannot provide the split push to try and deter the aggression from the Legion side. And the draft in general was a little bit questionable. You normally don't want to put Silhouette together with the War Beast because that's a little bit too greedy. It's like, um, yeah, the jungler is going to be in charge of pushing, but he doesn't even have the space to farm. Uh, how is he going to push? And on the other flip side, you have Pasty in the mid lane there, which is okay so far. Except for some questionable engagement sense there. Other than that, it should be okay. The Grenex is a complete failure. Um, he should reflect on that. Should, yeah, he should reflect on his life a little bit. Take a little bit laugh at his own name, and then say, well... <laughs> laugh at his own name, haha, <laughs> No, bro. Think, think a little um, bit, but yeah, I said... The main problem with the Hellborn lineup is that the fact that they don't exactly have the lockdowns compared to the Legion team. Yes, yeah, exactly. they have a Phoenix stun, you know, yes, they have a Festivus, but that's about it, you know. In terms of team fights, you know, what is one second compared to a 2.5 second Magma stun or a 3 second Keeper Room, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, completely feel your rage there, bro, but that's it. 29 minutes in already, 22 is the 10. We're not going to see a clean um, score for today. 1-1 one, one should be the score for the end of the day. Electrician manning up. Look at that, he doesn't even care. I can bathe all day. And he's like just, uh, oh, I'm scary, run away. And Magnus that, comes in from behind. Here comes the Ridley, Eruption's gonna be used and that's gonna cook up the entire help on team. They're all gonna try to run away. There is no Keeper because he doesn't have initiation mechanic. Silhouette there is fake, don't worry about that. Meanwhile, Jeb goes down, Haha, <laughs> Zim goes down as well. And the only heroes that are left include that of the War Beast, Silhouette as well as the Pestilence. All three of them really afraid of this electrician. <laughs> oh, look at Achievement Stun again once, man. That Magma's taking a little bit and of the root. Medicine, but please, yep, Root taking out Warbeast and Magma Stun and is coming second in. Second root. second root! Silhouette said you're gonna go down. Pestilence will be probably next before. Down goes Madman, but who gives a damn? Pestilence will be the last before, but doesn't really matter. GG's concede. Sorry to kind of use that, but that's just really interesting things happening. No, there, I mean, man. electrician is like, he doesn't care about a fun <laughs> thing. It's like I'm enjoying this any day, all day. Really crazy, Pasty taking a bit of a revenge strike on the electric. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna have to be a little bit forgiving for that. You're not gonna chase him, even if you do it. Let's see if he actually <laughs> does kill the um, electrician. Um, that's AI, by the way. And he still has yeah. got the icon of Goddess 26 charge. And Pestilence is struggling. The Mega Crypt's actually gonna kill Pasty first. 
So, yep, yep, guys, that's just how tanky that, you know, that guy is, really. Yeah, man, I mean, old school meta does work once in a while again, and it's definitely good to see these old heroes make a good uh, comeback scene and actually uh, pay off in games like this. So, yeah, props to them, man, for uh, giving us this style of games to actually cast. So, EG does take game number two against V Mask. They will go back with a flat 1-1 one, one score. After all, this is just a best of two series. So yeah, man. Pretty good stuff. Yep, so good stuff there, like what Zen Viper said. And this cast is brought to you by EGTV as well as Babel, that's me, and Zeno Viper. I hope you guys enjoy this cast. Last but not least, also huge shout out to both teams. Fantastic show in their own respective rights there. I hope that uh, there is more humanitarian welfare for... Uh, Malaysian All Star <laughs> at the at the second game, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So jokes aside, hope all of you guys enjoy this cast and uh, shout out Zen Viper. Go ahead. Yeah, definitely shout out to viewers all today. Thank you for tuning in. Shout out to uh, these two teams. It was a really really wonderful game to cast today. I really enjoyed today's cast. Hope to uh, hope you guys will enjoy tomorrow's cast as well. We brought to you by Babel and Abstract. So yeah, and uh, last but not least, of course, I, will, I won't say shout out, but the word mass itself does remind us of um, the misfortune that really happened to Malaysia. So keep them in prayer, you know, things like that. So without forgetting them, of course, uh, we just want to keep them in our consideration. So yeah, be able to take it away. All right, shout out to my girlfriend as, as well as the rest of the EGTV crew. We are going to finally have our own studio in less than one month's time. And... Uh, in case you're wondering why am I mispronouncing and my fanatics off today, I'm actually kind of sick. I have a flu virus in me, and that's credits to my family. But that said, it's still pretty okay. I'm recovering. Hope tomorrow's cast is going to be slightly better than today. And huge shout out to all the GMs for making sure that this tournament runs smoothly, as well as all the viewers for tuning in. You guys are fantastic. And hope you guys... Um, if you can identify certain problems in a cast, like for example volume issues, let us know. Because I can, if you can identify which caster is speaking too loud, I can change the volume up. And um, the, the problem is that I cannot listen to the cast while I'm casting. Funny, right? So that's, uh, that's the issue there. And I cannot adjust the volume accordingly because of that problem. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great weekend, guys. And enjoy your Saturday night fever. This is Babel. Joining me tonight is Zen Viper signing off. Have a great night. Goodbye. Yep. Good night, man. See you guys.